Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it is finally time for me to do my Sephora VIB sale haul. So if you want to see all the stuff that I picked up because I spent way too much money, then just keep watching. So remember in my Sephora VIB wish list when I said I wasn't going to buy a lot? I am sick. I have a problem. Not only did I make one online order, but I also went in store and added some more stuff. And now I'm looking at my desk filled with makeup and my heart is so happy. <laughs> my heart is so happy. My wallet is really unhappy. I've been in a very spendy mood this month. So first of all, I am wearing a full face of products that I purchased from this video. The video will be up in a couple of days of me trying on some of this stuff. Not all. And I didn't love everything. I'm not really loving how my skin looks right now. So make sure you tune into that video and subscribe so you can see what it is that really <laughs> messed me up today. I'm going to start off with skincare-y kind of stuff. So the first thing that I got, we're just gonna start off with a BAM. I got the La Mer Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. Oh, my wallet just shed a tear. This is so expensive. La Mer skincare is off the charts. I've been getting samples from Nordstrom every time I go because I love this moisturizer and I just couldn't find it in myself to pay so much for a La Mer moisturizer and just because of the sale and one day I was being very reckless, I did add this to my cart and I did purchase this. It is really, really beautiful. It is so light on the skin and it moisturizes your skin without leaving any bad residue. So it is pricey. If you do have the money, I would say look into this. If you don't, there are other great moisturizers out there. But this really is a luxury for me to have. It's going to be one of those products where I don't ever want to use it because... <sighs> she's so expensive so lately I have been on the struggle bus because I've been too lazy to go out and purchase makeup remover <laughs> but I finally picked up the Lancome by Facil double action makeup remover now this product I've never actually purchased before I happen to always get little mini samples of this either from Sephora rewards or in some type of gift with purchase so I realized that I use this all the time but I never have actually purchased it. So it kind of hurt my soul to purchase this for the first time, but I really do like this makeup remover. It is very, very nice. So while the sale was going on, I did purchase a big bottle of it. And it's weird because I'm so used to having the little sample travel sizes that now I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so big. The last kind of skincare item, I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Face Mist. I heard so many great things about this face mist. Fact, let me try it now. Seems like everybody was loving the mist on this. I love the whole aesthetic of this and the look. I have to say I have tried some products from Glow Recipe and I haven't loved them. I didn't dislike them, but I didn't love them, so. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. That's a mist. Okay, what I can tell from this is it feels very nice and cooling on the skin, which is just what I needed because your girl got a little bit pink out in the sun today because I didn't put sunscreen on. Yeah, that felt really nice and that smelled really good. Okay, I think I like that. <laughs> Let's continue on. I did pick up a couple foundation primers. So the first thing that I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I already have this, but I have it in the shade number one and that one really is to highlight and put on the cheekbone. And I wanted one in a shade that was a little bit more close to my skin tone so I can put it everywhere under my foundation or I can mix it into foundation. Now these aren't highly pigmented, but I just wanted one that wasn't quite so white on my skin. So this is the shade number three, and so this perfectly blends in with my foundation and my skin overall. So I love this so much. I already have it in a lighter shade, so I got it in another shade as well. So that should go to tell you how much I love this product. The next thing I got was the YSL Instant Matte Pore Refiner. I have been self-conscious about my pores lately, which is something that I've never ever been self-conscious about. But like right in this area, it's been looking a little bit more porous than I would like. So I picked this up. I heard something good about it from somewhere. I can't even really remember. But yeah, I've just been kind of wanting to get into YSL a little bit more and some more luxury brands. I just picked up the Chanel, new Chanel eyeshadow palette. 
<laughs> guys i don't know what's up with me i don't know why i think i am made of money i really don't so next i picked up the mark jacobs coconut fix complexion duo now i do already have the full size powder of this in my collection but i just i can't help i love little travel size things and look how cute this is this is the undercover perfecting coconut face primer i'd never tried this before and i have to say i really like it i used it today i love the way it made my skin feel i do really like this powder as well it's going to be great to travel with and um, this set was so adorable i really didn't need it at all but i'm such a sucker for mini travel size sets and i just mm, it was so cute a monster took over me again as it always does and it makes me buy things i did pick up a couple of foundations of course a couple foundations that i've been very curious about so the first one that i got was the natasha denona face glow foundation i got mine in the shade 40 and i don't know if i like this or not yet i liked it at first and then i stared at it and then i didn't like it and then i liked it and then i put products over it, and then i definitely didn't like it and now i'm looking at myself and i think i kind of like it so i definitely need to experiment with this more it definitely is extremely light coverage from what i can tell like i said i got a little pink today and that pinkness it's not going away so i don't know i need to play with this more honestly it's just one of those foundations that i really cannot get of first impressions on so then i got another foundation that i have absolutely been dying to try and that is the laura mercier flawless lumiere radiance perfecting foundation why does this look like it's too dark for me i tested this in store and it wasn't and now i'm looking at it and now i'm like this is too dark for me i don't know but i've heard so many good things about this foundation i love a good radiant luminous foundation so this has been on my list for quite some time so i cannot wait to give this a go the next time I am available to. So yeah, I can't wait to try this. I've been wanting this for such a long time. I had to, had to finally get it. Now we have the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. I got mine in the shade 4N and ooh, this is so light on me. I definitely think I want to at least exchange this for a lighter shade. If not, I might just return this all together. I don't think I like the formula of this concealer. Again, I think I need to try it just to make sure. But from the actions that happened today, I don't think I like this concealer. I think it's very dry on my skin. I don't think it likes the Fenty powder that I use on top. I definitely do not like the way it sits over the Face Glow foundation. So I need to test this out with other products to see. But so far, I think this might have to get returned. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Also, for the under eyes, I picked up the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is kind of not that fun, but I figured I'd get it while it was on sale. I've only swatched it. I haven't used it. I feel like this is a really boring product, but if it ends up being really nice, I think I would like it in my makeup kit. And also for myself, I've been kind of self-conscious about my under eye bags lately, and I don't really have them, but I have slight darkness, and I just want a little bit of correcting under there. I've just heard really good things about this, and this has literally been on my list for well over a year, and I never wanted to purchase it because it's kind of a boring purchase, but I finally did, so that better be a game changer. So let's move on to powders. So the first one that I got is the Fenty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I like this because it is a mini version of the Fenty Setting Powder. I love paying a little bit less for less product because I wouldn't finish this if it was a full size at all. So this is a reasonable size of powder. Now I don't know if I like it or not because I used it over my concealer and I think my skin looks terrible on the under eyes. But again, I don't know if that's the concealer or this. So I don't want to blame it on this. I really want to like this because I bought this for a full face of Fenty. So I better like this enough so I can keep it for that video. I also picked up the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. So I have a real bone to pick about this. This is the shade light and I normally am a light medium shade. Light typically is too light for me and this is kind of very yellow on my skin tone and a little bit too deep. It worked today because the concealer was so light that I needed something to kind of deepen my skin a little bit. It felt really really nice on my skin and I liked the way that it applied but just the fact that this is light like this is not light but anyways <laughs> I will have to play around with that but I hope I like it. I've heard good things about this powder and I really did like how it felt when it was applying so hopefully it is as good as it feels so this 
was a splurge that I definitely was not going to splurge on and then last second I was like no I need to spend this money and this is $68 for two face powders from Charlotte Tilbury this is the film star bronze and glow now I'm working on trying everything from the line so that I can do my Charlotte Tilbury brand overview for you guys that I've been talking about for the past few months because I do love Charlotte Tilbury so I figured the video would not be complete until I finally bit the bullet and purchased this product so many people love it it is a cult favorite of hers and so I finally with the 20% off just decided to get it so I did use it today and I really do love the way these powders applied this highlight is very subtle but has a really pretty glow to it which I've really been into highlighters like that lately I also would like to give a little bit of credit due to the Natasha Denona face Girl foundation I have to say my skin is quite glowy so I do like this and the sculpting powder I do like that it's not too dark on my skin tone sometimes I feel like we use bronzers that are actually way too dark for us and sculptures that are way too dark for us when in reality all we need is something a couple shades darker so I think this is a really nice addition to my collection and so far I really like it I don't know if it's worth the money but I do like it I also picked up on a recommendation from one of you guys the nude sticks all over face color in the shade of Bondi Bay I am a huge huge fan of cream bronzers I love them I love the way that they look on the skin I just think there's something so much more natural about it so this is a cream bronzer and this is just on recommendation from one of you guys the texture of it feels really really nice I've yet to put it on my face obviously considering I just ran home and started filming this video um it does have a brush on the end don't know if I will actually end up using that but I am definitely interested in trying out this cream bronzer I seriously love cream bronzer so I'm really excited to give this a try I don't think I've ever tried anything ever from nude sticks so I'm really excited to give this one a go I've heard people talking non-stop about the new Fenty bronzers and I did want to pick one up and then I found something that really attracted me more than just buying a full-size bronzer especially since this was the shade that I was gonna buy so this is the Fenty Beauty Lil L R L Lil Bronze Duo so this comes with a mini bronzer and then a mini matchstick and this was literally the bronzer in the full size that I was going to buy. And this whole set is cheaper than buying the full size bronzer. I am never ever going to finish a bronzer. So buying these little cute travel sizes are just perfect for me. So I get to try out the bronzer without having to pay for the full size. So this is Shady Biz. And I'm excited to try it because I hear nonstop about how good the bronzer is. And then I also got a mini match stick in the shade Cinnamon. It's like a really pretty kind of bronzy shade. I feel like this will look really pretty on the eyes. That's probably where I will be using it. But for me, I felt like I got to save some money and not buy the full size bronzer. And I also got a little additional product. So I'm really, really happy with this find. This is the kind of stuff I live for, honestly. Alrighty, let's move on to blush. I happen to only get cream blushes. I'm on a huge glowy cream product kick. So the first thing I got is also from Nude Sticks and this is in the shade Naughty and Spice. So this is a blush, looks like this, which is a very, very pretty pink. Oh, I think I'm going to love that. And then the other shade that I got from the Nude Sticks Little Blush is the shade In The Nude, which looks like this one. And this one's a little bit more peachy, kind of wearable. This one's a little bit more pink. So I definitely am super excited for these Nude Sticks products because I've heard good things about them and they're totally up my alley right now for what I'm interested in. I also got a couple of these Charlotte Tilbury Beach sticks so these are supposed to be lip to cheek color pops i most likely will be using these on my cheeks so the first one that we have here is moon beach which is a little bit of a lighter peach shade right here really pretty and subtle i can see this just being on a really light makeup day when you just want a little bit of glow to the cheeks this is what i would use and then the other one that i got is the blush that i'm wearing right now this did not work well with whatever i had underneath i did put this on top of powder so i think that was the issue but it also may not agree with the face glow foundation but this is los salinas and this one is much more pink 
and I think if I use this properly with the proper products, this is going to be beautiful. I would recommend applying this with your fingers so that it can kind of melt with your skin and into your skin. So I'm really excited to give these a go, but I think these are going to be absolutely perfect for just a fresh glow. Lost Selena's, as you can see, has a little bit more pigmentation than the other one, but I'm still very, very excited for both. I think these are going to be so pretty. I did only buy one highlighter, and this is on the recommendation of one of my favorite YouTubers, Seeking Alexandria. Her name is Paige. She seems to love this, and I just, it looked so beautiful on her that I had to give it a try. And this is the Too Faced You're So Jelly Highlighter in the shade Gilded Champagne. First of all, this smells delicious. And when I swatched it earlier, this just, mm, it looked so pretty swatched. Now this is, to me, seems like quite a gimmicky product, a jelly highlighter. I mean, seriously, but look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. And Seeking Alexandria says this is the best working highlighter, jelly highlighter she's ever come across. It works over powder, under powder, and it's just great. I really hope she's right because I paid a pretty penny for just like one stupid little jelly highlighter. But I am very excited and I fully trust her opinion. So hopefully this is as good as she says it is. I almost forgot one more blush. This was hiding. This is another cream blush. This is from the brand Incredible. It was only $10 and ate with the discount. Um, it definitely is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? I think it's one of those things where you pay less for less products, which I am not mad about at all. Let's see what this looks like. I've been so interested in this brand. I've never tried anything from it. It was just weird to me that it's so inexpensive and in Sephora. So... Ooh, it's like a moussey jelly. This is a weird consistency. This is in the shade My First Love. I don't even know where to put you. Put her right here. Ooh, I don't know about this. I don't really like the way it's blending out on my hand. It's kind of like pilling up a little bit. And it's a little bit patchy compared to all of these great cream products. I don't know about this. We will see. I don't want to judge it before I put it on my face. That looks like that might be a dud. What's a haul for me without eyeshadows? I did pick up a few eyeshadows, not a ton. This one was on my wish list. I told you guys I was getting it. I've just been eyeing it for so long that I need to get it. I need to complete the collection that I have. So this is a Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. This is in the shade Topaz. This is the last one of those mini palettes that I've really been eyeing and it's very very warm and I don't typically lean towards super warm eyeshadows but this one did really attract me so I did want to pick it up. I think it is super pretty. It's almost like very yellow which I really like so I can't wait to start playing with this. I mainly just got it because I already have a bunch and I just really kind of wanted to get another one. I do love these little monochromatic palettes. So I am excited to start using this and you can create some really pretty looks for the summer with this. Ooh, some pretty golden bronze looks. Yes, okay. Then I got the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigment. You guys know I love this product. I've already talked about it multiple times on my channel. And there was just one shade that I was eyeing for a long time. So this is the shade Persian Rose. I couldn't really find it myself to shell out the money to buy another single eyeshadow. So since it was 20% off, I finally was like, just get it, girl. And it's just the most gorgeous glittery rose color, super foiled and metallic. And nobody does a better foiled product than Touch and Soul for the eyes. I'm telling you guys, people sleep on Touch and Soul. They are such a good brand. I love all of their products. So I'm really excited to add another one of these to my collection because I love these. People sleep on these. I also kind of dove into Kaja a little bit. I already have one of these and I love them. So I picked another one up. So this is the Kaja Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio in Orange Blossom. And these are the cutest little things that I've ever seen. You see this packaging and it looks kind of like useless and gimmicky, but I swear to you, these are low-key some of the prettiest glittery eyeshadows. They just add something super special to the eyelid. This is more of a finishing 
kind of trio for the eyes but in the summer this with a little bit of bronzer on the eye is going to be so pretty under the sunset Oof, just these are so pretty i have another one i want to own the whole collection of these because first of all cute as ever second of all gorgeous just really pretty glittery shades so i'm super duper excited i got my hands on that i also picked up like i said i would one of the kaja moon crystal single little eye pigments so i picked up mystical this is a light lilac shade they did have a lot of other pretty colors in the collection but of course i had to get the pretty kind of duo chromey lavender one and this just it's such a cute little squeezy tube. So I'm so covered in glitter right now. Somebody needs to stop me. So look at this. So it actually blends out to be a little bit more sheer. This is like really all about that duochrome. And the fact that it's sheer, I actually kind of like. I feel like having that sheer wash of lavender and blue duochrome all over the lid is just going to be so pretty. So hopefully this is sheer for a good reason and not because it's bad quality because I hope this looks as beautiful on the lid as it does on my hand. The last eyeshadow product that I purchased, I have been eyeing and not buying because it was not something that I needed at all. And then, you know, the little monster inside me came out. So I did purchase the NARS Voyager eyeshadow palette in the shade Suede. I told you guys I was not going to purchase any of these. They looked useless. And I saw this in store. It caught my eye. And then I was like, no, girl, you don't need it. Walked away. And then I've swatched it every single time I've been in Sephora. So finally, the last time that I went in Sephora, I swiped this up and it's on my eyes right now and I love the quality of this. It's not unique to the NARS line, not unique in general at all. This is so gorgeous. I'm glad I did bite the bullet and pick it up because mm, this is so pretty. Okay, I don't want to talk about this too long, but I did pick up a Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I can't shut up about this mascara. It is the best. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to say about it that let's move on to lips i did pick up a couple things for lips the first thing that i picked up is what i'm actually wearing right now and i cannot find it on my desk here it is this is the becca ultimate love lipstick or ultimate lipstick love sorry in the shade sugar i bought this based on mel thompson's recommendation it is the prettiest nude and what i like about it is that it is not too warm I have a thing for warm peachy nude lipsticks. That's the only color I seem to gravitate towards and that's the only color that seems to be in my makeup collection right now. So this is a nice change to the nude lip for me because it's a little bit more cool, a little bit more pink, but it's not too cool toned where I don't like it. It's just like a perfect in between kind of neutral nude pink and mm, it is really pretty. I'm so happy Mel recommended this to me because well, not to me personally, but I'm so happy Mel Thompson recommended this because it is beautiful. Also, I got the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in the shade Hippie Shake. Now, this, I've always been attracted to these in general. I think I liked this whole monochromatic packaging. And this color, I don't know, I don't know why I picked it, to be honest. It is really pretty. It's a very kind of cool toned pink. And I do like it, so I'm excited to use it and try out this formula. So I will keep you guys updated on this. I also picked up something else from Kaja, and this is the Curated Nude Lipstick and Liner. These just look interesting to me. I was standing in front of the Kaja M cap playing with these, and I got a weird color. I truly don't know why I got this. But this is in Sand Dunes, and very, very cool toned brown color I chose. So one side's a lip liner, and then one side's a lipstick. I don't know if you can see, but I chose a very brown color. I do like brown lips, but I'm a little worried about how much I'm going to use this. I don't know. We will see. I will have to keep you updated. But I really like this kind of dual-sided idea. And Kaja is just so cute. I wanted to buy a bunch of things from them. And then I picked up two of the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Lust Gloss sets. So I picked up both. I have a couple colors that are in here. But I figured I'd just give them away. Because I really like the Pat McGrath Lip Gloss Formula. And these are such a good deal. So they are $25 each originally. And her formula is just great. And this one has a little bit more deeper nudes and this one is a little bit more pinky nudes and I don't know $25 for Pat McGrath little lip glosses I thought was a really good deal. I've been eyeing these for so long that I was like girl just get them please. Um, 
whoops, added to cart. <laughs> Alright, so that's actually all I got from the VIB sale. I did pick up a couple other items that I do just want to show you because they are from Sephora, so I'll just show you whatever. You may recall last week I uploaded a Tom Ford haul and then trying on Tom Ford and I was floored because I was so mad at myself because I really liked the stuff. So I might have spent some money on some full price Tom Ford items. Tom Ford came out with two new bronzers. They're so nice. This one's the glow bronzer in gold dust. And then this is the other gold bronzer because I needed another one. This one is Tara. And these are the most beautiful, smoothly blending formula. So they kind of look the same but they're different, okay? They are different. So I am definitely slowly but surely becoming a Tom Ford lover, even though I do think his prices are a little outrageous. There is something so luxurious in the morning though about putting on my Tom Ford bronzers. So. All right, so here's the last thing. This isn't even from Sephora, but since we're on the page of Tom Ford, I don't even know if this is going to be available in America, it's only available in the UK. I had it shipped from the UK. All thanks to my girl, Michelle Wong. She clued us all in that you can get this on Harvey Nick's website. The shipping from the UK is $15, but with the exchange rate, it ends up being about the same price as if it were in America. So this is the Tom Ford New Contouring Compact in Basque. It is so so pretty. I have only swatched it thus far. I haven't used it. It literally came in the mail today when I got home from work. I definitely unapologetically bought it because it is so gorgeous. These big Tom Ford palettes, like I'm attracted to big makeup palettes and yeah. So if you are interested in purchasing this, go to the Harvey Nichols website. So I do think it's sold out though now, to be honest, but I bought it. It's not currently available in the United States. Don't know if it will be. I assume it will be, but if you can get your hands on that, it's very pretty. I'm sure it's going to be very pretty on the face. So I've talked to a camera for about the past two hours. My mouth is so dry. But anyways, I'm so excited about all of the things that I got. This haul is massive, like massive. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because I will have an updates video specifically for this haul to let you know how everything worked out for me. Also stay tuned because the video of me trying out the first impressions of trying some of this stuff and how I got this look will be up in the next few coming days, hopefully. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and thank you so much if you stuck around this long. Hopefully you decide to stick around even longer and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.